Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to start off this vlog first by saying thank you so much for all the kind comments and you know, it's been a lot of fun making them and I'm glad they're going they're going well. I'm glad you guys enjoy them because they are fun for me to make. So, um, but as you probably guessed within the first five seconds, yes, I'm kind of sick right now. Um, I don't know, it's just been so rainy and crappy and like snowing and cold and you know, I just, I don't know, just got sick. That's what happens, I guess, when you live in the East Coast with all this crappy weather. Just makes me like so pumped to finally get down to Florida. And speaking of that, my house is looking amazing. The last time I showed you guys a photo, it was just the dirt and there was some dude installing the plumbing. Now all of the walls are up. And guys, basically like two thirds of the right side of my house that's going to be my gym. That's where I'm going to film all my videos. That's where I'm going to train. And then directly across from that is the other garage. And that's where my girl Jane is going to be sitting. And I'll be able to drive her night, like pretty much every day because it's going to be nice down there. Not like this. You guys can probably just tell from the footage that it's cold and muggy and crappy over here. But I will say I'm going to miss this house. I mean, I did a lot of work to this house on my own to make it to make it my own and to have to sell it and let somebody else enjoy it. I mean, I know I did a good job, so they'll definitely enjoy it. But still, you know, it's sad to leave your first house. This is my first house that I bought. So anyways, I'm gonna get some rest. Probably not gonna train tomorrow. However, the wife takes extra good care of me when I'm sick. So let's go see what she's making. You want a treat? You want a treat? <laughs> let's put some of your shit Spin, 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 spin. <laughs> Good boy. Why I'm trying to film? Screw your filming, I don't care. Wait, let me do it. No, I'll do it to you. No, don't, 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 let me do it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the whole time we were in Walmart, I won't do it. I'll put my hand behind my back. Show, the other side. The whole time we were at Walmart, I kept pulling her zipper down. This one right here. <laughs> when I don't feel good, my wife lets me get Elio's pizza. She hates this pizza. It's so, it's so delicious. Babe, how delicious is this pizza? Not delicious at all. This is the most delicious pizza I've ever had in my life. And you can choose to break it up into three separate pieces or have it as one big piece. What are these over here? These are taquitos? Taquitos, baby, taquitos. Okay, I thought we bought nachos and cheese. Yeah, we bought that too. Oh, damn. Somebody's gonna lose all their gains <laughs> while they're sick. We both know it's not true. <laughs> oh, great. It's my favorite pastime. RuPaul's Drag Race and taquitos. Taquitos, taquitos, baby. Taquitos, my family. This is what it's all about right there. Oh yeah, get in my belly. <laughs> That's how I ate the whole other slice too. Well guys, I definitely got like a bad fever last night. However, it did break last night as well. So this morning I feel kind of, I feel okay, I feel kind of like shaky. But I mean, the good thing is <laughs> when you get sick, it makes you feel like really ripped. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna drink a ton of water, eat a ton of food, and just, you know, nurse myself back to health. That should only take me a day to recover. Check it out, guys. It was actually nice out enough this weekend that I could set up all my lawn chairs on my porch. Even Bello's chilling. So I'm just gonna drink some coffee, relax out here, get some fresh air for like 10, 15 minutes, and then it's back to getting to work. Well, aside from eating all day, I've been sitting on my butt editing, so I decided I'm gonna go for a quick four mile run get the blood moving, and uh, just get that food digesting. I hope I don't have to poop while I'm running. That's like the worst feeling ever. <laughs> but, you know, I say a quick four miles. It's actually, a, it's a pretty good strip that I do. I actually go over to this main road and just run pretty much straight. And I like running straight versus a circle because if you run in a circle, it's like you can kind of just stop if you're doing laps, you know? But if you're running in a straight line, at some point, you have to turn around and run back. And I like that because no matter how tired I am, if I set a goal in mind, as soon as I get to that goal, I know that no matter what, even if I'm dead tired when I get to that goal, 
I still got to turn around and run my ass back home. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do right now. Wish me luck. First two miles is done. So now we cross the street and then we run home. This is my checkpoint, the blinking yellow light. And there's a gas station there. And usually if I get this far and have to go to the bathroom, just run in there. Oh, someone's beeping at me. Nice. Just got in from my run, guys. I really pushed it on the way home. I, and that's what I like, too, about running like to a point and then coming back is I know how far I have to go to go home. Man, I just push it and haul ass. I feel good, you guys can see the sweat going. And for me, guys, running running is more therapeutic than calorie burning. I don't really see it as like a, a way to burn extra calories. I see it as a way just to kind of... Any negativity I have in my head or anything going on in my life that's bothering me, out on the street, things just get much clearer, and then I just leave whatever neg negativity I have in here out on the road. So I just got back. I smell uh, <laughs> really bad. The wife told me to go away. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is just have myself a quick shake really quick. Just two scoops, quick 50 grams of protein shake, then go take a shower, and then I got a big day of lifting tomorrow with Joe, so I need to make sure I get plenty of rest. Today's the day, guys. Legs and arms is what you get when you're sick and you miss two workout days. It's gonna be absolute hell. But at least I'm not going down this road by myself. Get these two over here. Yeah! You guys ready? No. <laughs> So the best way to start off a leg day is to do a warm up. And that's what I'm doing right now, warming up the legs. And I'm gonna be supersetting with biceps, so I decided to do a quick warm up set of dumbbell bicep curls, even though I'm gonna be using a barbell. Warming up is crucial, guys. Do not skip your warm ups. Now the first exercise, and this is gonna be a superset, you're doing the barbell squat. And you're gonna lift as heavy as you can for a set of five, and then as soon as you finish those five repetitions, you're gonna drop the weight and then do 12 reps with lighter weight. This is how you do cheat and recover with legs. And as you guys can see, I'm really overloading. And I was actually quite surprised that even after still being kind of sick, that I was able to push through 315. Just goes to show you how mentally you can overcome being sick and still push yourself pretty hard. So like I said, as soon as you're done, you're just gonna take the weight off. Then as you guys can see, I dropped it down to 185. Now I'm gonna do 12 repetitions, going all the way down, all the way up, in between every single rep, really feeling those glutes, quads, and hamstrings fire in. Then the superset is the barbell curl, doing eight cheat reps and eight recover reps. And as you guys can see, I'm curling the weight up, using a little bit of momentum, but then I'm fighting that negative as hard as I possibly can. I'm bringing the barbell away from my body. And guys, it doesn't take much. You don't have to do seven different bicep exercises to hit your biceps hard. Doing that one set of cheat and then going into these recover repetitions where obviously I lighten the weight, you do one set of that, your biceps are gonna be on fire and you're doing eight sets, which actually equals about 16 because you're technically doing two sets per one set. I've gone back and forth between the squatting and the bicep curling a few times now. Definitely still feeling the fatigue. I don't think I'm completely over recovering. I'm over being sick, but I'm not over recovering from it. I think I still need a few more days of eating and hydrating to fully recover. I can just tell like when I'm lifting, it's almost like you feel, you feel like there's a battery and your body's trying to pull energy out of it and it's just not really getting that much current. But still gonna push myself today, I'm gonna show my body who's the boss, gonna go heavier on my, on my curls for my last set and heavier on my squats and then jump into the next exercise. Sometimes you just gotta push your limits. And then the second superset is gonna be Romanian deadlift and a weighted dip. And this time, once again, for the cheats, you're doing five repetitions as heavy as you can, followed by 12 recover reps. And guys, with the Romanian deadlifts, I like to use wrist wraps, I like to use a belt, and when you're doing those super heavy lifts, really focus on feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. If you don't feel the stretch in your hamstrings, you're doing it wrong. Also, it is supposed to be a slow movement even when doing your recover reps, which is what I'm doing right now. This is with the weight I'm gonna use for my 12 recover reps, and even though it's lighter, I'm still going down slow to ensure I'm feeling and getting the stretch in my hamstrings. Do not go fast on the recover reps. And then the superset here is gonna be a weighted dip, and again, we're doing eight cheat reps and eight recover reps for eight sets. 
When I do my cheat reps here, I like to jump in the air and then focus on slowly controlling that negative. And guys, if you can't superset because your gym is too packed and the machines aren't near each other, just do the exercises one at a time. Just still try to do them in the same order as I'm doing them here. But this was actually a really brutal workout even though it was only four exercises. The supersets made it intense, cheat and recover made it intense, and eight sets per exercise was crazy. That wraps up the workout for today, guys. I mean, I feel pretty good. I got a nice pump in my arms, my biceps, and my triceps. I was able to get some pretty heavy weight moving on all my exercises, but I, I didn't have that, like, that drive that I, that I normally have. And I know it's because I'm still not 100% recovered from being sick. But the bright side is, at least I was here, at least I was hitting it. So if you ever find yourself getting a little sick and then getting back into the gym after you stop feeling better, don't expect to go in and start hitting it as hot as you did you know, when you were 100% fresh. So it might take a few days just for your body to get used to it again. I mean, even on the curls, I was laughing in my head because I was doing the, the heavy bicep curls and the heavy Romanian deadlifts and it was like my upper back and my traps and my, my rear deltoids were starting to feel fatigued more than the muscles I was trying to work and I'm just like, you know what? Just fight through it, fight through it and that's exactly what happened and I know in a few days from now I'm going to be sore but I'm going to be feeling it and by this time next week, 100% back on track. So let's just keep pushing it guys, always keep pushing it. Family wanted to get out of the house, decided to go to Market Street in Peabody, where they have restaurants and stores, and it's nice to walk outside. Yeah, it's super, I don't know what it's super. It's super, super. It is super, super awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do wish it was a little warmer, but yeah, yeah it is what it is. Though. I'm always hungry. Let's see if they have anything good to eat back in the 60s. It's Whatever, it's all the same. It's the old. Don't be jealous of my bones. Babe, are those your old pants? I'm going to combat. <laughs> no, it was Crystal's pants, your your pants from when you were her age. <laughs> you're saying I was born in the 70s? That's what you mean? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You were born in the 70s. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys, but something smells real good around here. You know, I was actually excited to come here because they have a Wagamama, but now it's closed. They get this new place. Called oh, Roxy's. I guess it's like Rock, because she has a tattoo on her arm, and her name is Roxy. <laughs> Sounds like it. You should know. That's, that's right in your, your, hey, your let's genre. Cross. Let's cross then and go on the other one. We got about a 40 minute wait, so they gave us a little buzzer thing. We're going to go walk around and see. Um, there's some things I want. Erica wants to buy for me. Some of these stores. <laughs> you mean things you want to buy for me? That's okay, babe. You shop all you want. I got plenty to entertain myself with. <laughs> it's really, really loud in here, guys. So I don't know if you can really hear me. But the food options here are really good. It's very healthy. You'll see that once our food comes. Do you know what you want? No? No idea. This is what I'm gonna get. Grilled chicken and avocado sandwich. And I'm gonna start with some guacamole and chips. It's almost like being at Chipotle. Look at the guac and chips came. Hey, you Gro really, you groovy. Crystal sunglasses. <laughs> These guac and chips are groovy, bro. Babe, you look like a tool bag. Only with the glasses on though, right? <laughs> now nah, don't look like a tool bag. <laughs> medium, medium. That looks delicious. Chicken avocado sandwich, sweet potato fries. That is a nice meal right there. Erica copied me and got a sandwich and fries as well. Babe, truffle fries. Truffle fries. And Crystal got, what did you get? My food's not out. Oh, Crystal's food's not here. There it is. Crystal's food. She got some plain old boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> Just want to let it be known, Erica offered the drive all on her own. She's no. like, oh, babe, I'm going to let you relax. I'll drive no, home because I drive really all the time. it's really sunny right now. No, I had two drinks. I can't drive right now. 
So I watched Erica order her first drink. I'm like, whatever, she can still drive. Just a little margarita. Is that what you were thinking? And then she was like, oh, can I have a refill? And then I waited till she was done. And I'm like, oh, so you ready to drive? <laughs> Somebody in this family knows how to have a good time. Woohoo! You want to drive? <laughs> if you want to die. <laughs> That's true. You didn't have any drinks? I'm too young to drive. No, but right I now. can't drive. I don't know that. Run, Crystal. Show everybody how you run in those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Infinity War just came out. Got my Captain America shirt ready. Erica and I are gonna go see it right now. And this movie better blow my balls off, is all I gotta say. Babe, let's go! Erica doesn't know where her phone is. Where was it? In my closet. Yeah. Yo, go do your Infinity War poops! Go do your Infinity War poops, Bello! Go do them! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, go do those poops! <laughs> she said my floor's broke down and just sing real nice with you. I got a floor full of girls and it's going real sweet. We just got to the movie theater. Um, we're going to an early showing. It's 11.45, which means two things. One, I already had my coffee. Number two, I already had my morning poop. And there's a third thing. And it's too early. I didn't want to eat or drink too much because I don't want to have to use the bathroom during the movie. So <laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> but babe, people will die in this movie. Who do you think might die? If it's Captain America, I'm going to be pissed. Is all I'm going to say. Anybody else you think might die? Erica, Erica knows a good amount about Marvel, but she obviously doesn't read all the comics. Is it a boy or a girl? I, th no, I, I think there's going to be quite a few fatalities from what I hear. What? Cause, well, because the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they don't directly follow the storyline of the comics. They, they have their own twists. I think Captain America and Iron Man are going to die. If Captain America dies, I'm really going to I'm going to be furious when I leave. I mean, he he probably is going <laughs> to you're going to be mad. Yo, oh my god, this dude, yo, forever. Yo, why you got to come up behind me like he that, bro? He scared First the of shit all, out of us. Okay? I didn't scare the shit out of him. It's common law. Come on, we see a good friend go to the movies and say what's up from behind. <laughs> That's how all Scott's friends say what's up, is from behind. Uh, I'm just standing the there. This is the games. This is the and then games. Greg comes behind is, me like this. This is the man right here. You want to learn how to get the games? Cheat recovery all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, dude. Are you in um, Auditorium 16? Yeah. Yeah, the Me Too. Nice. Yeah. nice. Wasn't even planned. <laughs> Wasn't even planned. Wasn't even planned. Yo, I got to see him more. I listen to salsa. What are you getting, bibs? Coke Zero? Oh my god, it's so fresh, it's flipping delicious. Every single movie theater and this whole side of the theater is Avengers. Yeah, you ready, bro? Oh my god, Scott, <laughs> you got me bad. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, get it all out, babe. It's bullshit, okay? <laughs> bullshit is what I'm gonna say about this movie. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wakanda forever! We won't give away any spoilers, but it was pretty epic. Um, there was a lot of, the movie was a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of heartbreak. Um, heroes will be missed, obviously. A lot of heartbreak is an understatement. <laughs> is there anybody left? Yeah, I mean, there was a few that I thought that were not gonna go that went, and I was just like, oh, wow, man. I gotta tell you guys, the one time the whole movie that gave me like chills of excitement was when Thor just like, Took it to took it to town, man. But his Thor new... was really badass. I didn't even realize how badass Thor really is Just, until this movie. I don't want to give it away, man. But towards the end, when Thor shows up, you guys are gonna be sitting at your seats like, holy crap! There was a, a all girl scene that was pretty badass too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. There lots of fun parts. A lot. You guys are gonna really enjoy the movie for sure. Um, overall, I, I liked it. <laughs> I can't wait for the next one. There is a stinger at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. But yeah. I need a drink. <laughs> See you guys later.